Hello. So, now that you've hopefully watched tutorial number one of the survival, how to survive basically the first night of Minecraft, and I'm sorry I had to cut it off, I ran out of time, but we're going to open up our world again, and here's a little hut. Remember, this is only if you can't make a hut before, or make a house before you can, uh, or before, <sighs> sorry. This is useful for if you can you run run out of time before your uh, before the sun sets for building some sort of house. Uh, so don't use it all the time. So, anyways, since we've got some extra wooden planks left over, how about we go find a little flat spot over here? and we're gonna start building a little house place down a couple wooden blocks here please ignore that my iPod is going off <laughs> alright so we've got a little base here and we're gonna go and just build up like this also some other controls if you hold shift it'll make you crouch and you won't be able to go over edges if you don't hold shift you go a lot faster if you hold shift you go a lot slower and you cannot fall over edges if you're holding it space is to jump I'm not sure if I covered that and also to change uh, slot hotbar slots you can scroll or you can do one two three four uh, all the way up to nine according to whichever number it is anyways alright ran out of wooden planks so we're gonna get another tree and you can also make this out of dirt if it's easier for you uh, just me being a server owner I hate to see dirt huts everywhere they're kinda ugly and some people to kinda just stick with them so I'm gonna show you how to make a nice wooden hut to survive your first night another thing that we need to do is we're gonna need to eventually go into the caves to get some coal which is a a like fuel block in this game and you can use it to cook and smelt stuff or you can use it for uh, torches and some light sources so that's we need to get that that's a number one that's one of our priorities for the first night if you don't have that you're probably gonna have to go in one of those little in that little hut or three down hole that I was talking about. So anyways, now that we've got this nice cave opened up, we can go in it. And I'm not sure if you could hear that, but that was a cave sound. So after not going very far, luckily, uh, this is what coal looks like. So we found some coal, luckily, after not going very far. And we can mine this and get coal out of it. Like so. And then we can yeah keep on mining it <laughs> and you can just get the whole vein and it will drop experience and it's not showing me but it drops experience because you're obviously gaining experience because you're learning how to mine coal and my iPod keeps going off that's so annoying <laughs> alright so as you can see the sun's going down but we've got our coal so we're gonna go over here and quickly gather our furnace and we're gonna gather a crafting table don't use your pickaxe on your crafting table because it's going to waste your pickaxe so yeah anyways we can go over place these down in the hut into the crafting table again take some of this leftover wood make some sticks and put the coal, the coal on top that'll make torches so we'll just gather 16 of those and we'll place one out here and one in here and we also need a door and we don't have enough wood so we're gonna hurry before the monsters come out and just gather a little bit of wood quickly and that should be enough alright hurry back to our hut when you've just started the game I would not recommend 
exploring too much because if you want to actually get started pretty well then it takes a little time or it you need to kind of stay in one spot for a little while anyways we have a door on right click to open it right click to close can't go in right click open go in obviously like a normal door and as you can see it's getting dark the moon is coming up the stars are coming out and we can just go back in the hut because we are ready now another thing that I didn't mention yet is I'm not sure if you can see my mouse bar but right above my hot bar to the right there is what looks like a bunch of chicken meat stick things or whatever that is your hunger bar if that drops to the bottom on normal mode your hearts will go down to six I think and or no on normal mode your heart hearts will go down to half a heart and that's bad because then you can get killed very easily so we need to make sure that that stays pretty high it also automatically heals you if your hunger is high enough but right now we can't do much because all the animals are out there but we can cover that tomorrow so as you can see over there the little creatures there's a creeper in front of, on the tip of my cursor there's a zombie that I'm pointing at right now and there's a skeleton and then there, I don't know if you, you probably can't see that but there's a spider over there and there's a spider there these are all bad mobs those can all hurt you and they all most of them only come out at night creepers and then in the morning they burn up except for the green creepers which it escaped Oh, there's one over there they don't burn up so they're one of the only hostile mobs uh... in the that you can run into and get killed by in the morning and then also the spiders if it's morning they usually they shouldn't attack you unless you hit them and then obviously they'll attack you but at night they're always hostile to you so anyways i think i'm gonna end the tutorial the uh... tutorial for episode two here and that's how you survive the night uh... thanks for watching see you later